two, one. NASA is counting down to a new administration at a crucial time. The space shuttles are headed toward museums in two years. There's little disagreement it's time to move on. They're getting older. You don't know what the next failure is, what's out there. Uh, so that balance, while people would love to have more flights and get to fly, at some point you have to move on. The space agency is now headed back to the moon with a new vehicle. President Bush laid out that ambitious agenda in January 2004. We will give NASA a new focus and vision for future exploration. But the extra money promised to NASA then never came through. And now there are worries about the planned five-year gap between vehicles when U.S. astronauts will have to hitch rides to space on Russian rockets. One of the problems that we do have is that uh, visions without sufficient funding are really nothing more than hallucinations. And that's a challenge that, uh, that the new administration will have to wrestle with. Obama has wrestled with himself on space. A year ago, he suggested the gap be made wider, that the savings from delaying the moon missions be spent on education. But then in August, with the Florida race ever so close, candidate Obama came to Cape Canaveral with a retro position. So let, me be, let me be clear. We cannot cede our leadership in space. That's why I'm going to close the gap, ensure that our space program doesn't suffer when the shuttle goes out of service. Obama is promising at least one additional shuttle mission and wants to expedite development of the new generation rocket to close the gap a gap which the NASA administrator, Mike Griffin, calls as uh, unfortunate, unseemly, uh, unwise. It is way too late to fill the gap completely, but Griffin has teams working on ways to shrink it. I think we could probably end up taking a couple of years out of it for money, uh, but we would still have a gap of several years dependence upon Russia. The space shuttle budget is about $4 billion a year. Industry insiders say for $2 billion, they could speed up the pace of developing that new rocket by a year. So for $6 billion, you could shave two years off that gap. Miles O'Brien, CNN at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida.